What's up guys, Thank it is JB here, us. and welcome we'll to the second the episode now. of the Salford City Road to Glory. We are about to play our very first game of the season against Salford City, who are one of the premier teams in this division, will not lie. Thank you. They are probably favorites to win the league, but we don't back down from them. We are up, we are playing a different formation, it's a 3-4-3 with kind of a... Uh, Narrow diamond in the central midfield. It's what I used in my high school days. So I also really like the formation. I like the way it works. I like the if you have the right personnel, it works really, really well for me. All right, yeah. Let's get into this game. Let's get into the game. First game of the season. Extremely excited to get things going. We're hosting Salford City at Roots Hall. First game of the season. Always want to start off with the win. You know, even if we win this game, we lose the next two, I won't care. It's just as long as we can win the first game. I'm not even joking. If we win, if we win this game, we lose our we lose the games for the rest of the month. Might be okay with that. Probably not. But I won't think it's the end of the world. Yep. So obviously, I'm 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 interested to see what they show our formation as. I think it'll be just be like a three for three diamond wide. Yeah, they can't even talk about it. So yeah, essentially how we're looking, except Taylor and. Olinka are tucked in more and playing central midfielders instead of wings. Salford City, I don't know what I think they projected them using a five-two-three. If they use that, they do. If they use that, if they don't, I really don't care. I mean, I hope they do because that means we have a four-to-two matchup mismatch in the midfield. Yeah, we have. They have an amazing front three though and they have pretty good defenders but it's a, it's a four to two advantage in that central midfield position all right get it back to our center back play defensive mid let's get let's get let's let the shape kind of take place the one thing i'd say this formation really doesn't have is a uh, width like attack from the width deep down you know, like, we don't have outside backs making runs for us. But we do, by giving that up, we also have an extra man in, an extra man or two in the midfield. Good job of winning the ball back. Get into our striker. Wait for the run from Mellis. one nothing, baby. Yeah, go celebrate with the fans. Oh, you idiot. Six minutes in, up one nothing. I would consider that a good start to the game. And a good start to the season. Yeah, beautiful hold up there for, from Aqua. And just giving Mellis time to get in behind the defense. And finish it to put us up one nothing. Alright, if that's out of bounds. Perfect. Yeah, I just play it short. Alright, let's go, let's go. Alright, good job. Yeah, make that run. Good win there from Egbury. He's got the pace to get there. Ooh. Win that header. I will say, the only thing that can really beat this uh, shape is the long cross-field diagonals. But, I mean, if you have the guts to do that, and, you know, that's your team's style, okay, cool. It's not necessarily a dangerous one, because, obviously, you, you can't just... It takes time. I mean, we've got three center backs, so we've got three guys back. Yeah. 
big tackle there from Hobson. Keeps it in even better. Oh yeah, Egbury's got the pace. Just like that. 2-0. 17 minutes into the game. We are off to a flying start. Beautiful three ball in behind the defense. Excellent run. Excellent finish. Really just a bad job from Salford. But I mean, hey, I, won't, I, won't, I don't mind the uh, early lead. I also think with the shape, the uh, CPU doesn't really know what to do about it. Also, it's also perfect. I will be a little annoyed with kind of like player behavior because as you saw there, Taylor, instead of playing as like a center mid, kind of drifted in at a left back position. But I'd much rather them drift back than forward. Okay, that's another thing too, is as we go through this RTG, we got to make sure that we have the right personnel, not just the be not just the best players. Like Hobson, he's really impressed me. Olinka, I think is the perfect center mid. Oh, Egbury, you got to stay on sides, man. I only I've only played that early because I saw that he was starting to drift a little off sides. I didn't want to play that. I wanted to keep carrying it. Off sides. Yep. Can't do that. Taylor is a player we have in on loan, so one he is one of the players I will look to uh not directly replace quickly, but by the end of the season, hopefully have a solid replacement for him. Good, good ball, good ball. Again, those those long diagonals. You know, not really much of a threat. And we got the ball out. Even though we do want to play possession, I feel no shame in counterattacking. You know, I'm not a purist to the tactics of the team. I'm a purist to winning. And if we need to counterattack against the team, we counterattack. We can slow the ball down, kind of possess it a little bit. I am fully okay doing that as well. Alright. Going out wide there. Egbry, why are you so far back? Oh, Diang's got caught out of position. One thing I will have to focus on is, like, center backs figuring out what to defend. Because, I mean, this is a pure three back. I guess one thing to talk about the uh, last Men's World Cup in 2018. We're talking about how Belgium was, like, really the only side that played a pure three back. Even though, you know, sides like England technically played a three back. But you had multiple players. I mean, sometimes they had five at the back, six at the back sometimes. Belgium truly only played with three in the back. It kind of inspired me to kind of, you know, think about, oh, maybe this could be, you know, maybe this would work at the professional level in FIFA, not just at the high school level. Oh, excellent run there from Mellis. We're too good. We're too good. We are best in the league. Really also don't understand why Salford are playing a 5-2-3. I always, I mean I know last year in FIFA and I think earlier this year in FIFA they were a 4-4-2 team. And I think that suited their team a lot better. I don't really follow the team, I just kind of keep tabs on them. But I'm pretty, I, I think they might have changed managers. I think someone from the class in 92 got appointed as manager. Good tackle there from Malinka. 
he is another player that I hope to keep around for a long time. Because I hope that he is, I mean, he's obviously he's younger, but I hope he's young enough to the point where he, FIFA lets him keep progressing as he plays well. Yeah, I mean, half's over. Let's just possess the ball before we head into the halftime break. Just play back to the keeper. Yep. We're not doing anything. We'll t we'll take the uh we'll take the two nothing lead against one of the better teams in the division. I mean, we're the only team that's up two goals right now. I will also say I do really like EFL League 2. Because, I mean, obviously in the Premier League and the, uh, in the Championship, I mean, even the, even the Championship, I'd say there's, there's the top dogs that have a lot more money than everyone else, and they can go out and buy more players. Like, teams like Bournemouth and Middlesbrough, they have, like, 40-some million, but teams like Millwall and QPR and... Other teams like that, they have like four or five million. But I feel like, and I mean, even in the Premier League, you got Man City, Man United, who have like unlimited financial power. But you have teams like Sheffield United in there that are happy to get a player every five months. I feel like in League Two, and League, I mean, League One, I mean, there's whole city in Sunderland, but that's just because they are broken franchises that somehow can't find a way to get promoted. I mean, they have tons of money, and they... Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you're offside. You also stole a shot. But, I mean, they have a little bit more spending power, but League 2, I mean, look at the budgets for all the teams. It's pretty much 1.5 million to 2 million. And even though, so it's 500 thousand is the difference between a player or not they really anyone everyone that's get, everyone that gets bought is around really around the same quality I also just feel like the storylines a little bit better and there's just a bunch of just a ton of more games and there's less stress and you are playing with with players that aren't necessarily the greatest. <laughs> oh, I'm going to kill Aqua. I am actually going to kill this man. He has blocked a shot and been... It's because I did the fancy pass. Alright, never mind. You're good, Aqua. That was, that was my fault. But... I mean, the game's over with. Like, we're up 3 nothing, And they just haven't been able to do much. They've had a chance to, I will give them that. They have had some small opportunities to uh, kind of change the way this game's going to be played, but... End of, the, end of the day, that's opportunities, not goals. What a run from Melis. I'm loving that run from attacking mid from him. I think we're going to make a change in the 60s, in the 70th minute. Keep it in. Woo! That's what they call end to end. Alright. Throwing Zane will set up our substitutions from the future. Really going to swap the center mids. Get Ferguson in for Taylor. And we'll put McCormack. Yeah, I mean, he, he, is, he can't move, but he's at least a different option. And we'll put Krimpu in for Lennon. All right. Substitutes are set. Good job, Lennon. Now come on. <laughs> I know. 
I've had a couple of teammates that said like when they knew they were about to come off and if they were playing on defense or whatever, they would intentionally not clear the ball out of bounds. You know, they'd just be like, oh, I, I didn't mean to clear upfield. I will say another thing I do have to keep in mind with this team is, I mean, I only pl I don't play that many games. So, you know, those players that are lower, much lower in, like, overall, but just play better, I can't necessarily have those be my starters all the time. So, I mean, like, everyone knows, you know, there's those certain players in a career mode series where, you know what it is, they should play really good for you. Like, Hobson, center back. He's a 60 overall. He's not, he's not the goodest, he's not the greatest of center backs. He's not that good. But I just feel like when I use him, I just think he's playing very well. But, the CPU doesn't know that. CPU doesn't use him like I use him. So, oh, I think it, I mean, I kind of jinxed him right there. I don't think that was his man. I think that was McCormick's man. Oh yeah, it was a, just, yep, that was a good run from him. But like, I mean, CPU is going to register him as, oh, he's a 60 overall, so he's he's not going to play good. I think one of these times I might sim, like the watch, like sim where like I watch, to see how the uh, CPU plays. You know, like, how do they, how do they treat this formation and set up? How, what, what do they do? So, I mean, you, you can, you can put on like possession tactics and you can play a full on long wall style. I know back before this new tactic system, back when it was the old one with the sliders, where it's, you know, 0 to 100, you can tr control you know, defense, middle of the field, shooting, crosses, tempo of play. I would always go, I liked really short, quick passing, kind of like a counterattacking system based off a of Tiki Taka style. I mean, I'm cool just chilling here for a couple more minutes. I, mean, I want to see how this... I want to see how this formation works when we really try to s slow things down and possess the ball. Not gonna lie, a little nervous now. Oh, Hobson. Oh, they got a corner off that, really. Oh, we hurt him. We hurt Ashley Hunter, not bad. He's a wannabe Ashley Young, so. Feel no sympathy. Oh, whip it in, Torre. Whip it in. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get the weight room. Oh, I didn't realize I actually get that as a foul. Clear that away. Good. Uh, yep, you know, George. He's not he's not winning that header. Marco can't get there. Ferguson can't get there. Kairu. Excellent dribbling. Yeah, yeah, take it yourself. Go on a little adventure. Play Nathaniel George. Yeah, let's take it to the end. Just take it to the corner. End the game, please. Thank you. 3-1 win to start things off. I don't know about you guys, but I, I consider that a very good start. I mean, we, were, we killed them. We were killing them from the very beginning. Let's check these player ratings. I mean, three shots on target, three goals. Yeah, everyone played very well. I mean, Nathaniel George didn't play that great, but that's because there wasn't really anything on his side. Don't know what it was it's just everything seemed to develop well on the right that game all right let's head to our first post-match we just want conference. to ask you a couple of questions oh yeah team we're not we're not stopping oh no no yep i'm glad you're unhappy akinola i hope you leave 
no right now. Questions. All right, so oh yeah, he's done loaned out. Bye. See you later. It would be wrong of me to say I missed you. But things could be a little awkward when he returns from his loan. But by then, hopefully we'll be top of League One or bottom of the championship. Ooh. Ex oh, excellent players from camp. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's our three-star, three-star scout. Not, oh yeah, not the greatest players from Mexico. But I don't mind considering the players we just got from Canada. We don't, probably don't even need to buy. Oh, yes. Give them to me. Ooh. Oh, that's amazing. Like, that is legitimately amazing. Okay, I need to save. Because I, I, I save periodically, A, because you just should, and B, because my FIFA is pretty broken in many aspects. All right, so yeah. So we got this William Collins. Uh, and we got a fixture development plan. Really, you have a low work rate as a attacking midfielder. No, 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 no. That won't work. Yes, and you get that attacking attack work rate up. Ambrose, I'm sorry, sir. You're going to go from left back to center back. But you're also six foot three, so I don't think that's going to be an issue for you. Yeah. Four star, four star. As a center back. Exactly what we want. Powell, my man. Again, you're six foot one. I don't think you'll suffer too badly moving to a center back position. Luke Graham. Ooh. High, high work rates. I think we can keep him at center mid. What's his stamina? 57 stamina. That could be improved on. So really, we give any of these to him. and I think we go central midfield. Right? Or do we go box to box? I mean, box to box doesn't do defending. We... I really want to get that stamina up. And he's got really good ball control, good agility, good balance. Terrible shooting, decent. I think we'll just go as playmaker. Also gets his weak foot up. And oh, he's got a finesse shot, nice, but not exactly what I would like. This Tremblay, six foot two, one star weak foot. Yeah, he, he looks like a nice defend. He looks like a defensive midfielder. Yep, ball winning midfielder. He's just essentially a forward center back. And then we have this young Norwegian who. I think we can move him to uh, left wing. Yeah. All right, well, we don't need to sign any center backs. <laughs> like we have, we are fully, fully capable of having some solid center backs come through the youth academy, which is, I mean, again, I like to see that. You know, I do like to have a solid youth academy. It, it does solve a lot of problems that can easily be avoided. All right, so we have this league game against Harrogate, and then we play Plymouth in the cup. Um, you know, actually, I think I actually will give White the start, because I think I want to rest Hobson. And also rest Dimitri in favor of McCormack and Ferguson for Taylor. Yeah, alright. Got to save. Alright, and then... Play match. Yeah, we're just going to sim it. We're just going to quick sim. Three one victory. Perfect. So the team's thriving. So it's not just me, it's actually the the team. I mean it, again it is Salford compared to Harrogate, but still. One thing I am trying to work on is usually with these like road to glories, I don't pay attention to like squad rotation at all. Like I really just I play who I want to play. I think I'm going to try to change, kind of change up that ideology. Yeah. 
McCormack, you're, you're also really too old to be playing for you. It's Ferguson. Ferguson. Actually, yeah. He, he's got better defending. He's got high, high. Yeah. So, I mean, team's doing pretty well right now. I think we'll start Hackett Fairchild. I think we'll start him. Actually, no. I should have thought about this beforehand. Yeah. Probably should have played him last game so we could like, also again play this game. But, I mean, I'm, I'm not a professional manager. I, I'm still working on that squad rotation stuff. I think that is actually going to conclude this episode of the South End United Karimo series. I hope you all have enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you can see the rest of the series and the, all the new episodes that come out. And it is Jay Beebs signing off.